Welcome back to Minecraft everybody and thank you for joining me. This will be a short video that continues my Colosseum tutorial. And in case you don't know, I have tutorials for this entire thing you see. I will point out this will not be finished in a day or a week. For those of you crazy enough to build this, it's planned for several weeks. Anyway, this tutorial is all about entrances. I'm going to show you how to build this right here. First things first. Go to the middle of your Colosseum. Now if you have not determined what corner you're going to have your throne room on, now is the time to decide. And I explained that in greater details earlier in the tutorial. And if you're truly unsure, just put it where I did. Mine happens to be on the south end. Alright, so this right here will be the throne room, but this video is not about thrones. So, come on down here, chop out a hole, just... Now go ahead and place a glowstone X. I will say this X is optional, however, just trust me on this, take a minute and do it. Now this X is behind the throne room, and under the throne room technically, so this will not be an entrance. It uh, will do something with this, but for now, come back to it. Come on over to the other side. The other corner, I should say. And go ahead and place a X with torches. Again, the X is optional, but, you know, take two seconds and do it. Trust me. And again on this side. And, well, one here. Because for you, you're not going to have this entrance yet. Now, before we get building, come on back to the original... Glowstone X that we did, er, and go straight up. Place another Glowstone X on the exact same wall. And just like before, place a X there with torches. Place another X, and well, another X there, and I will show you this entrance way as well. And we're back to the glowstone. Okay, so floor one has an X. Floor two has an X. This time around, come on out here. Go up to floor three. And do a X of torches. Another X of torches. A third X of torches. And a fourth X of torches. Woohoo! And go up one more floor, and do the exact same thing. Second one. Third. And fourth. So basically, in a nutshell, the torches are going to be entranceways, and the glowstone is going to be a different type of wall, which I'll explain when we get there. Another thing I will point out, if you have not started putting torches up, Definitely get in the habit, because there's a lot of torches to do. And as you can see, yeah, I've only done a few of them. That's going to take you a while. Do a little, little bit at a time. All right, I tell you what. Come on down here through the first floor. Go to your glowstone X, which is behind the throne room. And grab iron bars. We're going to need that for this. And, of course, our sandstone and etc., etc. Okay, so this wall right here, go ahead and chop it off. Just like that. Okay, so this wall right here should be one, two, three, and four. So right here, place the sandstone. That's one, two, and three. And go right here. And make sure you have this part there. And go ahead and do that. And let's just make this four high. So that's three and four. Okay. Now grab your iron bars. One, two, three, four, and five. Then back to sandstone. Make our wonderful plus. And go ahead and do this four also. So that's two, three, and four. And same thing for here. So... One, two, three, four, and five. Sandstone. Plus. 
two, three, four. And now that you have this, we need some more iron bars. Go ahead and do, that's two, three. Five by three. Same with this one. Now grab your sandstone slab and cover this top part. Same with here. And we have this. Now from here, we are going to make the rest of this an actual pillar. Okay, bring that on up there. And go ahead and do this part here. Okay, now the rest of this can just go straight to the top. Now there, we'll come back to this corner later. Now, grab your sandstone stairs, and let's do the middle one first. So you're going upside down. And obviously, you can tell by now, we are just doing the same pillars that we have. Oh, I don't know, a thousand pillars? <laughs> I forgot to keep track. Okay, just like that. And do the same thing for this side. Now one option you can one option you can do when you come to this corner, chop you off and just have you go in one direction. So it looks like that. But if you did that, you could also chop those three off, you so it goes like that, and you so it goes like that. So now it looks like so. Your choice, this way or this way. Personally, I prefer this way. So I'm just gonna plop these suckers right back where I got them. Although, yeah, that one, hmm, 50-50, guys, 50-50. Now, another option. Oh, get rid of that glowstone because we don't need it. Hmm. You know, you could even put a door right here. I tell you what, I am going to leave this part in the tutorial open. I mean... There are dozens upon dozens of ways you can customize this Colosseum to whatever suits your needs. Alright, so come on back over to this third pillar. And, of course, do the same thing. Do, 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 do. Noise. That one does look pretty good. So you have that corner, or this corner. Honestly, I like this one. 
I will come back to that one. All right, and that is, well, this is not an entranceway, but this is how the wall looks behind and under the throne room, even though we haven't built that yet. Now go ahead and go up one more floor, and this X, do exactly what we just did, block for block. Start by chopping down your wall. Just like a show. Now this part here should still be one, two, three, and four, because it's basically the same size as the bottom wall. So we want, oh, and by the way, don't worry about how this overhangs like this. Pay no attention to it, because eventually this is going to be a floor. Just like this. Floor. Floor. <laughs> Alright, so we want our wonderful pillar to go there. And that is block one. One, two, three, four. <clears throat> Okay, make sure this one right here is after the four. And here, if you want, go ahead and just level this part off so you don't confuse yourself. Okay. One, two, three, four, and five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, and you should know how to do the rest because we're doing it 100% exactly what we did down there. And bada bing, bada boom. And of course, we can't forget the torches. Or wherever you want to put the torches. I mean, you could even put them right here instead. So it kind of looks like you're in a cage. Oh, you can even spawn, put some mobs behind here. I mean, not here, here, because that's where the throne room's going to be. Possibilities are endless. And of course, don't forget your torches down here. Now, if you want, you can make the bottom exactly what we've been doing. I would take that part out. Yeah. You could do that, or you could leave that one blank. That one is optional. Whatever you choose. That or that. Alright, so this wall and the wall above it, these are the only two walls that are going to look like this. Unless we use this design for other stuff. But for now, pick a corner. Here's your throne room. For me, I'm just going to go this way, because we got to show you this stuff. And I will point out real quick that for the sides here, I made them go inwards like that. So they do look slightly different than the pillars we just barely made two seconds ago. So keep that in mind. Now then, choose whatever wall you want to start on. And chop the entire wall off. Just choppy chop chop chop. Ta-da! Alright, now just like the ones we did before, this should be one, two, three, and four. Grab your sandstone, make sure you place one here, and then do the plus. And this time, we're going to use one more sandstone. And then one, two, three stairs, and another sandstone. And from here, we want a plus. Just like Sha. And another sandstone. One, two, three. Sandstone. Plus. Now, before we go any further with this, here's what I want you to do. Come over here. Come all the way up to this wall. From this part here, I want you to bring this whole thing out by one. 
We will adjust it later, so don't worry too much about it. It's just got to be out by one. Place the stair there. So technically, that is one, two, then the stair right here. And from here, we are going to want these stairs to go diagonal straight to the floor. Easiest thing to do is grab some glowstone. Okay. Aha. So the reason we did that is to make sure it all lines up nice and perfectly. And starting from this spot here, you get better results going that way. Compared to if you started here and then went up, eh, you might have been one block off. And as we all know, these mega projects, if you're off by one block, whoo, it makes a difference. Alright, so let's go ahead and finish these stairs. And I tell you what, leave the glowstone right there. It ain't going to hurt nothing. Alright, stairs are three. So just extend this out. And plop one there for funsies. And then down here. Noise. And top this off with sandstone stairs. Okay. And from this part here, we want to bring that up so it goes over the stairs just like so. Or basically just go one, two, one, two, one, two. Noise. Same thing for this side. Okay. Now go ahead and do the same thing for this one. Start from up here and do exactly what we just did. Now let's work on the pillars. Go ahead and get rid of that. And this one, we're just going to want this to go all the way up. Just like we did at the start of this short tutorial. Grab an oak fence, or whatever wood you want to use. I find that the oak works best when paired with sandstone. Now leave these two top parts empty, and just place your sands, your stairs, your fence. <laughs> oh, I got a little tongue tied there. Just like that. Now, if you do accidentally bring these all the way up, you know, don't worry. We will come back later and fix this top part. We will make this top part more detailed. One thing at a time, folks. Now, using your sandstone stairs, come down here and continue the wonderful pillar. And I tell you what, when we get to this corner, you want it to go inward like this. Not like this, like this. So, chop, chop, noise. OK. 
Okay. Same with this side. And go ahead and place your oak fence right. Alright, now for the top part of these pillars. Now we want to copy this exact design for up here. Ching, ching, ching. Just like that. Mm, nope. For this middle part, make sure that there is blank. Yes. So, one, skip, one. Very nice, very nice indeed. And that is how it should look for you. Now grab some torches. One torch per fence. And of course, this part here, you are safe to uh, get rid of and just replace with regular sandstone. And last but certainly not least, grab your oak fence, come up here, and we're doing only this one part. Just to there. I mean, we will definitely do a lot more fences, but one thing at a time. Oh, we can't forget about underneath these stairs. So basically, we are just going to mirror image these stairs, minus the fences and torches. So, technically, we've got one, two, one, two, one, two. Let's do this, three. And other side. Okay. Now from here, grab your sandstone stairs. Now technically, this bottom row right here, click, click, click. We want those to be upside down stairs. And we're going to want to go chop, chop. Go ahead and get rid of that one layer of glowstone and replace it with some stairs. So it looks just like that. And when you get to this top part here, well, if you replace it with a stair, that's an option. But honestly, just do a sandstone. And that is under the stairs. The only reason we did that is for style. So, do the same thing for this one. Okay, and now your bottom, your first floor entrance is done. Looks pretty sweet, right? Now, is it missing anything? Nope, looks perfectly fine to me. Wonderful. Okay, so let's recap for a second. We started with these two walls, the first floor and the second floor. And this is also where our throne room is going. 
this, let's just call this side one. This is side two. You want to do this exact same entrance on floor one, on side three, and side four. And after you do that, I can show you the next part. Which is this, a slightly smaller version of what we just did. Now I will point out, you can easily use the same design we just did for the rest of these entrances. But me personally, I like to have the bigger entrances on the first floor. And every floor up can be a different size. Well, one size. <laughs> one size fits all. Just first floor, bigger. Okay, starting with floor two. Go ahead and pick any old uh, torch X you want. And chop the entire wall off. Just like we've been doing. Okay. Now this part here should still be the four. One, two, two, three, four. And this time around, we want to start one block forward. Now on the first floor, this plus symbol was more lined up with this wall. This one is that way by one block. Now this part's going to be the same. Glowstone there. One, two, three. Sandstone, sandstone. Did I call that one a glowstone? My bad. Hmm. So that one there is blank. And this one here is our plus. And it should also line up with the pillar below it. Sandstone. One, two, three stairs. Sandstone. Plus. Okay. Now go ahead and do your pillar things. Alright, now from here, we are going to want five of these stairs in total. So let's grab some glowstone so we don't get confused. That's one. Second one's going to be on top of that. So we got one, two, and three. Four and five. And place a single sandstone behind it. Bring this out by two more. Here, do this. Okay. Now, just like the stairs on the first floor, grab your sandstone. This top one, we're going to want one right there. And we want it out just like that. Do the same thing for this side. Okay. And we do want these to be three. Grab your sandstone stairs, and we want to mirror this stuff. So just like before. Okay. Now grab your fans. And of course, one torch per fence. Now 
Now do this exact design right here. And of course, make sure you cover up any glowstone on the very bottom. Now this last part here, you can either leave it blank or plop in some more stairs. I kind of like to plop in some stairs. Just like a show. And for these fences and torches, we are only going right up to this top line right here. And as you can see, the first one, I didn't want too many. But we will come back to those. Okay, to the next pot. All right, so grab your glowstone, and we want one, two, three, four, and five, which means right here, number six. This is where we want to place a stair. Sandstone, stair. Sandstone, sandstone, sandstone. And just go ahead and level it off like so. And right here, this middle one, make sure it's lined up with the middle stair. Sandstone slab. Sandstone stair. Mm. There we go. So that was one, two, three, four, and five. The stair starts on the six. That's a second stair. A slab, stair, stair, and then the usual five. Okay, let's do it again. One, two, three, four, and five. Here, let's do this too. One, two, three, four, five. We want a stair on number six. Stair on number six. Sandstone, sandstone. Stair, stair. Fill this top part up with stones and a slab bubble bubble whoops and that is our entrance and of course we'll uh do more of this later this is just one step at a time Okay, so now the really fun part. So you remember how at the beginning of this, I started saying, hey, make a few X's with torches? Well, guess what? Every single wall that I showed you a torch X needs to have the same entrance that we just got done making. And remember, the first floor is the bigger entrances. And you should have already done that before you got to this part. Unless you skipped ahead. <clears throat> you know who you are. <laughs> Not going to lie, that's going to take you quite a while to do. That's a lot of entrances to make. But on the plus side, there's only two corners that you don't have to make an entrance for. Just a fancy design. Well, that's going to do it for this step, folks. In the next step, I'm going to be showing you the throne room. And I'm also going to be showing you some more stairs. We're going to be building one all the way to the top, but i got to work out the kinks before I get there. Alright, I thank you all for watching. Uh, do me a favor and press that like button. And if I haven't mentioned this in this video or the previous Coliseum, Coliseum tutorial, in the end I am going to combine every single Coliseum tutorial into one single video. Thanks again for watching, and if you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe. Catch you later. Bye-byes.